Well, I'm back from my trip. I learned many lessons while driving up to Prince George. Unfortunately, I can only make it as far as 100 Mile House because I learned something. Right now, with my extended range lightning, I have 544 kilometers without my trailer. But the moment I hook up my trailer, it dies down to 190. So, uh, I don't know, 190 divided by 577 times 100. Uh, that's my range. Uh, I might subtract that from 100. I think I lose about 70, 65 to 70 percent. Now, I live in British Columbia. My start point is just south of Vancouver. My dilemma is we have a lot of passes. When driving up to Prince George, I had to drive up uh, Jackass Summit. And the um, so I charged up in Hope at a supercharger. Uh, they have 150 and 350 at Electrified Canada. But then as I'm driving uphill, my range cuts down to about 160 kilometers. So I had to stop in Boston Bar, which is not a trailer friendly uh, charge station. And it's a good thing I know how to back up a trailer. It's a good thing there was nobody there. Otherwise I would have some difficulties. I may have to disconnect. So I made it to Cache Creek. I discovered for about every hour I drive, let's say every 100 kilometers, I use up about 100 kilowatts of power. It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. So I charged up in uh, Cache Creek. I finally found the charger. That's the place that flooded and the RV fill up station and sandy dump is closed because it flooded and you have to drive around the entrance on the other side but that's it's a large parking lot so I can drive in and charge up without unhooking my trailer then I said well I better play it safe because I know my next big summit is Big B Summit on Highway 97 just before uh, around 90 mile house before 100. So I had to charge up a Clinton. The RV, ch sorry, the EV charger is at the back of City Hall. Luckily, I can get out the laneway. Luckily, there's a liquor store and I can pull a, a circle turn and charge up the RV and then I discovered at the behind of the uh, liquor store there's a water tap so I was able to fill up my drinking water and continued north so then I uh, uh, stopped by uh, 100 mile house to charge 100 mile house in front of the tourist destination they have a free 50,000 watt charger. And so I was able to charge up for free. And then I did some mental calculations. I says, I'm gonna have to stop for every hour I drive, I gotta stop and charge up again and spend an hour charging. So you don't get very far while pulling a trailer uphill. And also in 100 Mile House, they shut down the sandy dump and the fresh water fill. I couldn't, it was behind the Save On Food and that shut down. And we're in the middle of August. So at that point, I says, oh, I better cut my losses because it's taking a long time and already a day and a half and so I decided to go by Highway 24 after I fully charged up because I know at Little Fort rest area there's another EV charger. So I went down there, 
up and down the hills on Highway 24 and made it over McDonald Summit. Then it's a steep grade down, 12% into Little Fort, 1, 2%. So there's a brake check. And one time I did check my brakes on the trailer and pull the emergency pin uh, and make sure they would lock up my electric brakes. It only locks up if your battery's fully charged. Uh, and, uh, so one thing is good, the lightning will charge up my battery and it will just automatically. Uh, so either I have a lithium battery or lead asset. So I bought a lithium battery and then I found out that my RV charger is the old one because my RV is over 10 years old. It will only set the voltage to charge up to a 1200 uh, to a lead asset and will not probably charge up a lithium battery because they require a higher charging voltage and you could damage your inverter on your truck or your inverter, sorry, in your EV, sorry, RV. All these EVs and RVs are confusing me. Recreation vehicle. So I had to buy a new replacement lead acid battery. So these are, th and in Little Fort, rest area, you can do a circle turn and come in the right way and again, they have two 50,000 watt chargers and it's for free. So, was, so I took a full charge up to 90%, spent an hour and a half there. And then started driving towards Kamloops. I was thinking, no, I won't be able to make it to Merritt. But on the way at Fish Trap Rest Area, they had another free charger, which I didn't know about. So I was able to charge up there. Now I'm going downhill now. So I did some calculations. Oh, I have enough to make it to Cash Creek. I don't have to stop in Kamloops since I charged up in Fish Trap. And it is downhill. Uh, well, you still have to go, I think the Sunday Pass, the Sunday Summit on Coquihalla Highway number five. So I was able to regenerate a lot of power and I made it all the way down to Merritt with 58 kilometers left. I had a charge uh, warning, low battery. Once my battery drops below 25%, it sends me a warning. And I was able to uh, make it to, uh, I had to drive around the block and uh, I find the entrance to the parking lot, finally found it and they had this is a bc hydro one they had a 50,000 and a hundred thousand uh kilowatts but the problem is with the 100 kilowatts i would have to back in because the cable is not long enough i would have to disconnect the trailer so i spend about two hours remember every hour i drive i use roughly 100 kilowatts of power and when you have a range going downhill, my range is about 190 kilometers. Going uphill, my range is 160 kilometers, I have discovered. So that means for every hour I drive, I guess I spend roughly an hour charging up. So it's a good thing I'm retired, I'm in no hurry. And so right now, Originally, I was planning to drive over the Rocky Mountains, over the Pine Pass, over to Dawson Creek. I, I worked it out that I could do two hours driving. But going up and down the mountain passes in BC, that is risky. I can only count on safely one hour driving. So I was able to charge up and merit and get the hope and charge up there. So that's a summary of what we did. And now I'm gonna to head to Manning Park and go over the, uh, what is it called? Coquihalla Pass. I forgot, just before you get to Manning Park.
So we're going to head over to Electrify Canada and Hope BC. So that's a summary of my last trip. I'm starting another trip. I charge up at home to 100%, 577 kilometers without the trailer. And we'll probably get 190 again.